This video will show you how to install a LinkBelt SAF style adapter mount pillow block bearing. For each SAF style adapter mount pillow block bearing, there will be a housing, bearing insert, tapered adapter assembly, consisting of a sleeve, lock nut, and lock washer, and seals. First, check your shafting to make sure it is clean, round, straight, free of burrs and nicks, and of correct size, referring to manufacturer's specification. Never coat the shaft or bore of the adapter sleeve with any anti-seize or lubricant. Install a seal, adapter assembly and bearing insert, ensuring the chamfer side of the lock nut is facing the bearing, and second seal onto the shaft and into the approximate intended positions. As with any adapter mount bearing, there will be some axial movement during installation when tightening the lock nut. Therefore, only loosely bolt the housing in place and account for the predicted axial movement of the bearing on the adapter sleeve. Bridge over mounting bolt slots with heavy flat washers or heavy spring locking washers, which may help prevent loosening. Installation of SAF style spherical roller bearings begins with determining the unmounted or bench clearance of the bearing insert with feeler gauges. With the weight of the shaft supported by the bearing, insert progressively larger shim stock in between both sets of rollers and outer raceway at the top of the bearing unit until a snug feel is obtained. Once determined, check the measurement against the clearance reduction table, table 1, of the service instructions. The measured amount should fall within the advertised unmounted clearance range. Next, determine the clearance reduction amount for the size of bearing being installed. This is the amount of internal clearance that needs to be taken out during tightening of the bearing to the shaft. Subtracting the reduction amount from the unmounted value leads the final operating clearance when properly tightened. This value can be verified in Table 1 of the service instructions. Always mount the fixed bearing prior to the expansion or floating bearing. Hand tighten the lock nut to snug the bearing onto the shaft. Final tightening of the lock nut should be done using a hook type spanner wrench or hammer in soft steel drift, taking care not to damage the lock nut. Tighten in 1 8 turn increments, stopping intermittently to measure the internal clearance in the same manner used in determining the bench clearance. Once the clearance reduction amount or final operating clearance is reached, bend down a tab of the lock washer into a groove in the lock nut to permanently secure the assembly. If a tab does not quite line up with a groove, tighten the lock nut until the nearest groove is in alignment with a tab. Never loosen the nut during this procedure. Initial lubrication of the unit is accomplished by first hand packing the bearing insert with grease from one side until grease is observed purging out the other side. This should be done until all voids in the bearing insert are filled with grease. Once the bearing insert is packed fully with grease, Fill the housing base cavity to a level that is even with the bottom of the shaft. Grease requirements can vary by application. Prior to capping the mounted unit, install the C-spanner ring between the bearing and housing shoulder to fix the unit. Place the housing cap onto the housing base, taking note that dowel pins and bolt holes line up appropriately. Refer to Table 2A for cast iron housings or 2B for cast steel housings of the service instructions for appropriate cap bolt tightening torque. Install the expansion or floating bearing in the same manner as the fixed bearing, ensuring the bearing insert is centered in the housing bearing seat. A C spacer ring is not utilized for an expansion or floating unit. Rotate the shaft to check for binding of the seal rings and realign housing bases if needed. Complete installation by tightening the housing mounting bolts to the appropriate torque per grade of bolts used. For further instructions on installation, operation or maintenance of LinkBelt SAF style adapter mounted bearings, please visit www.rexnord.com documentation.